Item two, the election of mayor. I would now like to call upon Councillor Don McKenzie to propose the nomination of Councillor Jim Clark to the office of Mayor of the Borough for the municipal year 2014-2015. I propose the election of our colleague Jim Clark to be Mayor of the Borough of Harrogate for the year 2014-2015. Perhaps you will allow me to describe briefly to you the notable milestones in Jim's life to date and why I believe that he is the perfect choice to be our leading citizen in this momentous year ahead of us. Jim was born in the former borough, Royal Borough of Arbroath in Angus on the east coast of Scotland between Dundee and Aberdeen. The town is celebrated for four reasons in particular. First, it was on the 6th of April, 1320, that the Declaration of Our Broth was signed by members of the Scottish Parliament to affirm the country's independence from England. We are perhaps just a few months away from a case of history repeating itself. And as the French say much more eloquently than we do, plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose. The second reason is the Our Broth Smoky which has been granted geographical protection status, like Palmer Ham or Melton Mowbray pork pie, I made the mistake once of suggesting to Jim that the smoky was made of herring, when you all know that it is, of course, haddock. Don't make that mistake with Jim. I got away with it, but only just. The third reason, and this is for football buffs, I don't count myself amongst those, the town's football club, our Broth FC holds the world's record for highest score in professional football when they defeated Aberdeen Bon Accord in the Scottish Cup in 1885 by 36 goals to nil. And the fourth reason is the town is the birthplace of David Dunbar Buick, who emigrated to the United States and in 1902, in Detroit, founded the Buick Motor Company, which eventually became, as we all know, the cornerstone of the world's greatest corporation, General Motors. But above all these in importance, certainly for us today, is the fact that the town produced Jim, who was born on the 21st of June, 1947. He was educated at Arbroath High School before departing for the University of St. Andrews. Recently described by Prince William, as Jim constantly reminds me, as, and I quote, by far and away the best university in the world. Now there are those of us here who would perhaps challenge that claim, citing perhaps a rival academic establishment based on the edges of the Fenlands of East Anglia in a city which lends a future king his dukedom. But this is Jim's big day, so if you let the claim go unchallenged. After, Jim, uh, after university, Jim joined the accountancy firm of Arthur Young and qualified as a Scottish chartered accountant. Now let me just explain that Scottish chartered accountants differ from their counterparts south of the border as being even less likely to spend your, let you spend your money. And Jim spent most of his professional career in Edinburgh, becoming a partner of Arthur Young in 1983, and holding senior positions including staff partner, head of audit, and head of entrepreneurial services. As a resident of the Scottish capital, Jim was president of the Edinburgh Junior Chamber of Commerce, and discovered a delight in acting appearing regularly at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival as a member of the People's Theatre. This experience began a long-lasting love of the theatre to which we shall return shortly. In 1996, Jim moved to Harrogate and two years later fought a borough council election in Harlow, a ward, as it was called then, a three-member ward, closely resembling the county division of the same name today, 
and he lost. But he came back two years later and won the seat in the same ward in 2000, and in 2001 became a county councillor too when he won the election for the Harlow Division. And Jim is only one of two elected members to have served on the cabinets of both borough and county councils. And as cabinet member for schools at North Yorkshire County Council, Jim introduced a much fairer secondary schools admissions policy, which was warmly welcomed by many Harrogate residents. And his current position as chairman of the county's scrutiny of health committee is very high profile at a time of great changes in matters of health and adult social care. And here in the borough, Jim has served as cabinet member for resources, planning, transport and economic development, and as chairman of the governance and performance panels of the Scrutiny Commission. And he, is also, he was also a member of the HIC board. Outside the politics, Jim is a very active member of what's become to be known as the Big Society, a committed volunteer working for the benefit of the local community. He serves as chairman of the Harrogate Theatre, first taking on that important role in 2006 and overseeing the theatre's restoration between 2007 and 2009, and presiding over its transformation into one of the most successful and popular venues in the north of England. He is a trustee of local charities, Harlow Community Centre, Friends of Valley Gardens and Pine Woods Conservation Group. And he is a former chairman of governors at Rosset Acre Primary School and the current governor at Harrogate Grammar School and York College. And in what little remains of his spare time, Jim is a passionate follower of the Scotland football team. Prove surely, Mr. Mayor, of his indomitable optimism and steadfastness in the face of overwhelming adversity, <laughs> qualities that may well serve him well in the year ahead. Mr. Mayor, I'm sure that our guests today and fellow councillors will agree with me that we have in Jim Clark the ideal person to take over from you as Mayor of the Borough, and I'm very pleased and proud to propose his election to this meeting today. It is now carried. Um, in which case there will be some movement on the stage. I, Jim Clark, having been elected to the office of Mayor of the Council of the Borough of Harrogate, hereby declare that I take that office upon myself and will duly and faithfully fulfill the duties of it according to the best of my judgment and ability. I undertake to be guided by the National Code of Local Government Conduct in the performance of my functions in that office. This declaration was made and signed before me.
I now ask my mayoress to step forward to receive the chain of office. Experience and wisdom will be a great benefit during our period of office. And I also welcome with thanks the participation of pupils from Rossetaker and Harrogate Grammar Schools. These are schools with which I have a long connection, and they're both fine schools. I'm pleased to announce that my chaplain will be the Reverend Gary Waddington of St. Wilfrid's Church in Harrogate. St. Wilfrid's is a church attended by Shirley the Mayoress and is in the high church tradition, which I shall find particularly interesting as I am a Presbyterian at the other end of the church spectrum. This is a special year for St. Wilfrid's, having celebrated its 100th birthday yesterday. And last night, Shirley and I, along with Michael and Clive, attended the centenary service, which is one of the last events in Michael and Clive's time in Mr. Mayor, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and fellow councillors. Just over a year ago, I had the pleasure of proposing that uh, Michael and Clive and Claire took on the job of the mayoral team, the role of mayor. I urged people to look forward to the year ahead, and I believe I finished by saying, uh, bring it on. I think that was the phrase, and wow, did they bring it on. Unbelievably, between three of them, over more than 500 functions and events were attended by them. And I can honestly say that they had all been warmly received at every function and appreciated that the functions that they have attended by those people who invited them to attend in the first place. You carried out your duties marvelously. Thank you. I can't think of any mayor who tried abseiling before. I might be wrong, but I can't think of any. I can't think of any mayor who dangled above some wire on Houston Gorge, or chopped up cabbages at flower shows, or even at the Starbeck show, baked a cake, and won, won the prize, one of the best cakes submitted. How many mayors have attended the Oatlands Gala twice in their year? And how many consorts have compared events and joined in with the dancing at the, at the Easter festival. None. I can honestly say none. I confidently hope that the mayoral team this year more than lived up, this, can say without any doubt that they more than lived up 
their expectations. And a few comments just to confirm that from people who they have supported at events that they've attended. Phrases like, they've been a breath of fresh air. Whatever they do, they give it their all. They're so enthusiastic, such good fun. They've given so much support to the arts and charities during the year. They've done everything with the utmost commitment and enthusiasm and fun. The word again, fun. Mike has just been great, said one. Fantastic. They've really thrown themselves into everything they've been able to do at so many events. And always make, they always make people feel appreciated at the events they've attended and for the things and the work that they do. You can see people loved him and the warmth was obvious, another one. This has been a difficult time for me, for, for Michael in particular, with the loss of both your parents during the year. It's a testing time, but you've shown tremendous resolve and it's shown through in all that you've done over the last 13 months. Mr. Mayor, Claire and Clive, we're grateful to you, for you, for the team that you had around you and the fantastic effort that you've done on behalf of the residents of this district. Congratulations and well done to you all. Thank you. To Jim Clark and team, Shirley and Nigel and, and uh, his wife as well, thank you. Um, I know that you like a challenge in life and I'll simply say Congratulations on your nomination, and regarding the past mayoral year, follow that. Well, thank you, Philip. Um, I was expecting perhaps one or two more things, but that was uh, very kind of you. Thank you. Well, how to describe the last year? Charles Dickens summed it up perfectly in the opening lines of A Tale of Two Cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. The deaths of both my parents and an aunt in the space of three and a half months made for a difficult start to 2014. But it was fantastic that mum and dad were able to see me made mayor last year, sitting in one of those boxes, that they were able to enjoy following my mayoral adventures. Indeed, every carer, nurse or doctor that met mum was told that her son was the mayor. And that mum was able to stand in for Clive on a couple of occasions. But it was also the best of times. And there's only really time now to skim the surface of what the year has been like. I am aware that the Brazil-Croatia kickoff is at nine o'clock tonight. Uh, unsurprisingly, a major theme has been horticulture. And Philip has alluded to the flower shows and the cabbage cutting. In bloom, and I would be very surprised, Jim, if there isn't already somewhere in your diary a tour of Starbeck in anticipation of its contribution. There have been various events throughout the district for In Bloom, culminating in the National Written in Bloom Awards at the Starlight Rooms in the Beachcomber Resort Cleethorpes in the middle of October. <clears throat> We did actually give up the offer of staying overnight in a caravan because we had to be back um, on the Sunday. Tenants' gardens competitions, and be it Harrogate, Ripon or Boldersby, every garden owner, when praise said, ah, yes, you should have been here last week because it's turned this week. The allotment show, the Starbeck um, Flower and produce show, produce show, it was only third prize, I'm afraid, Philip. Uh, there was too much raspberry jam in it. <laughs> and then, of course, expanding horticulture to agriculture and the sweltering heat of the Yorkshire show and a near record attendance, if I remember correctly. Another theme has been the voluntary sector, and it has been great to visit voluntary groups throughout the district. I've been asked on a number of occasions whether I have learnt something about the district that I had not previously known. Well, I suspect that it is to the extent to which we as a community rely on the voluntary sector. Many people's lives are made better through the action of volunteers, and I am sure this effort has contributed to making this the happiest place to live for two years running. I just wonder if anyone is yet tiring of Farrell Williams' song, Happy. One example of community effort that illustrates this, and I only mention it because the campaign coincided with my year as mayor, was the Lion's Eye Laser Appeal. I attended early events soon after its launch, and before the year was up, the target of £80,000 had been achieved. No mean feat, all within one year. 
As mayor, you always meet plenty of famous people. We've had three royal visits to the district. Princess Anne, along with 1,700 members of the town's women's guild, was my first civ um, civic welcome. And coming from a WI family, that was more intimidating than perhaps just being a man standing in front of a conference centre full of women. The royal theme followed with the arrival of Jenny Bond. We've had well-known personalities such as Brian Blessed and very recently Chris Akabuzi, both addressing meetings in the pavilions. And I think certainly with Brian Blessed and possibly even for Mr Akabuzi, one could have stood on the Weatherby Road and still heard their speeches um, from inside. Steve Cram came to one of the schools where I used to teach. And it's been good to go to events at schools that I actually attended as a pupil. We've had quite a few TV cooks in town, um, Antonio Carluccio, Don, John Waite, Dave Myers, Brian Turner, and Mary Berry. And the mayoral waste, to follow that theme, the mayoral waistline is testament to the theme of cakes during the last year. But not all the heroes that I've met have been household names. I've already referred to our volunteering heroes. But amongst the more humbling events was when I presented Arctic Star Medals to veterans who had served in the Arctic convoys during the Second World War. There have been surreal days, like one day in August, where I was uh, at the launch of the Rip and Raft race, and by the evening was presenting a banner to a band on the steps of the town hall of Luchon in the south of France. I'm delighted that our links seem to be growing between Harrogate and Luchon, and that the mayor of Luchon will be visiting Harrogate for the Tour de France. Uh, no doubt giving us some expertise as Luchon is the fourth most visited place in France by the tour, um, some 52 times I think. And it was good to for forge links with Barry in Canada. Another theme I think under the title that Clive gave, it was Dare the Mare, starting with a fun day in the Valley Gardens and bungee trampolining. Yes, climbing trees in the pine woods and abseiling. And another piece of advice to Jim is don't let your deputy go to any events in Ripon when the mayor of Ripon is looking for volunteers, because that's how several of us ended up abseiling down Brimham Rocks on what must have been the foulest day this year. Um, hits, rain, sleet, whatever. But we all survived, and even Mr. Mayor of Nairsbury, your predecessor, um, although I don't think she quite enjoyed it as much as some. And then there was that ridiculous escapade hanging over up Haustein Gorge. And finally, of all the events, perhaps just the International Youth Festival, I know we shouldn't mention favourites, and there are too many to say, but it was great to be part of the festival as mayor, having been involved so many years. And it was also good that all the district mayors took part, which I think has reflected how well the district civic team has got on over the last year. And it was great to see the choir from Rwanda come um, as, part of, as a result of one of my charities. And I suppose I ought to add, it was good to see Clive comparing. But finally, I must just thank one or two people. The Reverend Chrissy Wilson, I was delighted that Chrissy agreed to be my chaplain despite the pressures of running two churches during an interregnum. And I must pay tribute to the support that she has provided not only to me but to all the family during a very difficult period. To Claire, I'm not sure when I asked Claire to be my deputy that I was aware how busy she would be, never mind whether she was aware how busy she would be. However, she rose to the challenge and certainly the reports I've had back from the events that you've attended, they all appreciated your contribution and I hope that you enjoyed the experience. To Team Mayor, to Alistair and Michael, for their forbearance when I was invariably late in departing from an event. There are always so many people to say goodbye to. Both Clive and I have appreciated your professional approach in getting us from A to B, and then to C, and sometimes D and E, on time and in one piece. And of course, Lorna. How do I sum up the work that Lorna does? Well, the title Mayor's Secretary in no way describes the extent of what she does in support of the Mayor, and it in making things happen. But it is not only me that has appreciated her work. Countless people who have organised events that Clive and I have attended have praised her for her professionalism and helpfulness. And I hope that we've not been too much trouble for you. And finally, a massive thank you to Clive. 
The role of mayor's consort is not an easy one. There's no job spec. And of course, it's the mayor who's chosen to do the job, not necessarily the consort. I know it was a steep learning curve, and in the early, in, certainly in the early days, but you soon made your mark and probably now know more about this district and have met more people in different roles than you ever thought possible. It has been a team effort, and I couldn't have done this without your support, especially over the last few months. And I might even forgive you for the secret rehearsals that led to your star performance on the opening night of the International Youth Festival. And of course, I now have a lifetime of repaying all the debts that have stacked up over the last year. And so it comes to say my last words to a meeting of Harrogate Council um, after 30 years. Um, certainly this last year has been a great time. Can I pass on my best wishes to, to Jim and Shirley and to Nigel, to the incoming civic team? If you only have half as good a time as we have, you're going to have a blast. Uh, do make the most of it. I'm sure you're going to have a great time. And... As the old Looney Tunes cartoons used to say, that's all, folks. Thank you. Item five on the agenda, election of leader of the council. I would like to advise that in accordance with Article 7.05 of the Constitution, it is necessary to elect a leader of the council for the forthcoming four-year period commencing the 12th of June. 2014. Could I ask for a mover of the motion seeking the appointment of Councillor Richard Cooper as leader of the council for the four-year period commencing 12th June 2014? Do I have a seconder? Thank you. All those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? I declare the motion carried. Could I invite the Leader of the Council to notify members of his appointments to the Cabinet? Details of the Cabinet appointments have been circulated to all members of the Council, along with changes to portfolios and responsibilities agreed as set out in paragraph 3 and the appendix to agenda item 6. No formal vote is necessary for this item. Uh, the cabinet for the uh, forthcoming year will be myself uh, taking the finance and resources portfolio into the leader portfolio. Uh, my deputy leader will be Councillor Michael Harrison, who will also take the planning portfolio. The cabinet member for housing will be Councillor Mike Chambers. Environment, transport and external affairs will be Councillor Phil Island. Culture, tourism and sports, Councillor Pat Jones. And safer communities, Councillor Margaret Atkinson. Uh, I'm looking forward to the year working with my cabinet and with all members of the council and uh, I hope that we can do a good job for this borough. Thank you.